Hello, Milrad here. Today another dish with interesting or funny name. Very difficult to say. It's potato patata or potato patata. Ah, that's one even better. Okay, it's practically potato and onions baked in the oven. Okay, we have it here. We have gold gold potato and we have just a regular onion. We will go and slice it now, arrange it in baking dish and bake it with olive oil. Okay, we need to peel potato. Okay, potatoes are peeled and now it's ready to cut them. We will cut them in uh, about quarter inch thickness. One more to go. And now we need to cut onion. We have onions and potato cut and ready. Now first thing what we will do, we will season them and put good amount of extra virgin olive oil. Okay, sea salt, lots of sea salt, potato needs to be salty and some ground pepper and I have this famous seasoning, it's Vegeta. A little bit of Vegeta. Okay. Good stir. Potato and onions cut, seasoned and ready. Now we will start layering them down on this baking dish. Cover the, our potato, potata, with uh, aluminum foil, going to oven, 400 degrees, 40 minutes. Time to check our potato, potato, pata, patata. <laughs> it's 
see. We still need to go a little more. Okay. Potato, potata, potato, potata is almost ready. Now we will just add a little bit of white wine. It goes back to oven with lower temperature. We will put um, 375 for another 10 minutes. Potato, patata is ready and it's out of oven. Now we will uh, let it rest for maybe 15-20 minutes before we're going to taste it. Okay, uh, let's plate this potato patata. And we have this very nice corning plate. Potato patata is ready for tasting and let's check it out. Potato is so soft and buttery. but still keeps it is not mushy mm. and onions are so soft when you put all these together it just melts in your mouth it's fantastic it's fantastic. This dish you can eat it by itself or it can be side dish if you add any of proteins like meat or even fish and we will add a little bit of roast beef and try it with roast beef. Another way is to add sour cream and try it with sour cream and that's what I'm going to do right now first I'm going to add sour cream that I have here mm, mm, mm. and sour cream is cold it just go very nicely with a warm potato. It's fantastic. Now I will add this roast beef to it. Okay. Extremely good, even as a side dish. And that wine left over you know what to do with it Ooh. potato patata potato patata excellent dish fantastic cooking today 
I'm going to enjoy the rest of it. Thank you very much. Milorad out. Hi, Milorad here. Today I'm going to cook something very simple. It's a Sunday. I just need a little um, lunch for today. Very light. Okay. Here I found this um, part, half of sweet potato that I'm going to use. And this is red onion or purple as my wife like to say and it's going just a simple uh, dish of sweet potato and onion baked in the oven okay thank you very much let's start cutting we are ready to do to cut these vegetables sweet potato and onion and I will leave that cutting to the expert that's my wife. Okay. As you can see, this is uh, not easy to cut. This sweet potato is hard. Okay. And um, we need to do this onion. Okay. Now some onions. You want a little thicker than that? Yeah, it's okay. Put that in there. We are ready. Okay. What we have here is extra virgin olive oil. one or a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil we have some sea salt that we will put good amount of and we have ground pepper And then we have this Vegeta seasoning. Okay. And I will put a little bit of crushed red chili pepper sweat. Uh, red pepper. Flakes. Okay, and now my famous way of mixing. Let me check. I think they are all coated pretty good. And this is baking dish and first I will put at the bottom sweet potato and then some onions a layer of onions more sweet potato And onions. Let me 
check. I think they are all coded pretty good. And this is baking dish. And first I will put at the bottom sweet potato and then some onions a layer of onions more sweet potato Okay, I just need to say this is uh, not something that I did before. This is my first time, but I like to experiment with food. It looks really good to me. Now we will just cover this with aluminum foil and bake it in the oven 400 degrees probably about 40 minutes. Here we have a piece of aluminum foil that we will put over. Okay. And we will try to seal it as much as possible, as tight as possible. And that's why we have a bigger piece And it will hopefully keep all this moisture inside and cook it. Okay, and it goes to oven 400 degrees. Okay, checking our dish. Okay. This one is soft, Miloran. Really soft. Mm. It's almost ready. It's good. Let's check it with knife. Okay, looks really, really good. And I think it's ready. Okay, now we will just let it stay a little bit, cool down, and rest, and Tasting. Okay. We have our sweet potato and red onion dish rested and ready for tasting. Okay. Wow. It's buttery, it's soft. And uh, let's see with onions. Mm. And onions are kind of firm, a little bit too crunchy, but very, very soft inside. It is extremely good. I don't have name for this dish. It's sweet potato and red onions baked in the oven with olive oil and spices. I think it's it's fantastic. I like to use that word a lot but it is. Okay, thank you very much. Milorad out.